Would you please find a comfortable position to meditate in? And once you do, close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath. And then on the exhale, allow this breath to be pure release and let go. And becoming aware of your physical body, maybe wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and then become aware of the soul aspect of you, your beautiful multidimensional light body, and allow this aspect of you to fall right behind your eyes, right into the center of your head, the master control position of your mind, body, soul. This is where present time exists, right here, right now. The February full moon is also known as the Rowan tree moon and it's rich in mythical folklore. It's also known as the snow moon by Native Americans. Becoming aware of your physical body, it's now starting to grow rowan tree roots deep through the foundation that's supporting you down into the soil, allowing your mythical rowan roots to grow deeper, deep, deep, deep into the depths of Mother Earth, at least two miles down so your roots are rooted away from the surface energy here on Earth. And allowing your roots to build protection for you between both the cosmos and Mother Earth as ancient Druids and Celts have done for centuries. As your roots grow deeper in, plugging into Mother Earth, Rowan trees are said to be the tree from which the first woman was made. So allow yourself to enter the realm of your divine feminine with this February full moon. No matter what gender resonates with you, we all have our own beautiful combination of both divine, masculine, and feminine essences within us. allowing the essence of your nurturing energy roots to grow deeper and deeper and tapping into the most divine feminine energy of all, Mother Earth. Once your tree roots have made its way to the center of Mother Earth, would you please sense some fertile earth energy to plug your rowan tree roots into? And once your roots are anchored into Mother Earth, would you please give them a good energetic tug? And with that, it starts the gravitational pull on your body, on your chakra, on your aura. And then just start to release through your roots, from your physical body, down through your roots, giving all of your worries to Mother Earth. Let go. Take another deep breath in. And let it go on the exhale, releasing through your roots. Releasing anything that's non-beneficial in your space. You don't have to know what it is. Just set the intention to let go of whatever is no longer serving you and let it go down your roots. We are at our most beneficial spiritual space if we're running our own energy and in present time in the center of our head. So with intention, Would you please let go and release anyone else's energy 
that you may be holding on to. Just let them go down your roots. It's a win-win. You get to release them and run your own energy, and they get their energy back. Would you please set your body, your body chakras, your aura to complete release and let go of any resistance to whatever your higher self, which is the voice of your soul, wants to experience this moon cycle. So once you release this, let go of this resistance You'll know that whatever does happen this next moon cycle, you can trust it's for the highest good of all. And then would you please let go down your roots, anything in the way of you creating, sowing, and nurturing your new beginnings. Maybe you're holding on to the past, let that go to. It's taking up space in your energy field. Release it to make room for the path of your heart. And then would you please let go of any resistance to experiencing your soul's purpose, your soul's purpose. And this can come with big energy shifts. So would you please release any resistance to change, transformation, growth. The February snow moon is the most cleansing moon of the entire year. Can you feel it? It's a time to let go of anything that's no longer serving you, whether you're aware of it or not. Just with intention, letting it all go. It's a time when snow is still on the ground, but the seeds have been planted and they're starting to come back to life. It's a time of creation. And creation can only take place with both our masculine and feminine energies. The masculine directs what our creations will look like and the feminine creates it. This full moon embraced the beautiful, complex, multidimensional being that you are. From the center of your head, would you please start to scan from the very, very top of your aura, whether you're aware of it or not, starting to come down into your physical body. If there's any fear, stress, anxiety, any pain, emotional, physical, if any of these lower vibrating frequencies has crept into your energy field as you start to scan your full body, would you please say hello to it, honor it, and then let it go. A hello is the most profound healing of all. So once you say hello to any of these aspects you're holding on to, you can heal it by letting it go. And us humans tend to run these energies because we're the only animal here on earth that lives out of present time, thinking of the past or the future. But that doesn't really exist. We're the only animal that does that. 
That's why we live with so much stress and anxiety and fear. So just let go anything out of this present moment right here, right now. Let it go. Because it's just a thought or a worry. It doesn't exist in this moment. So why stress about it? Let it go. We can only feel these energies if we're thinking of yesterday or tomorrow. Letting go of those to-do lists. Let it go. Allowing Mother Earth to transmute this energy for you. Give it to her. That's our agreement with her. It's the second full moon of the year. A time of planting your seeds and watching them grow. It's an intense full moon and it'll have you asking, am I living my soul's purpose? Am I living through the path of my heart or the path of my ego? The intensity of the February full moon is here to urge us to become aware of whether we are living a meaningful, purposeful life. Are you happy? It's a time to be with our heightened sense of awareness of how we're living, being mindful of where we're planting our seeds. Our creations can only grow if we're nurturing them, putting energy into them, watering them. What does your garden look like? Where are you putting your energy? Bring in your awareness to your rowan tree roots and all of the energy you're releasing through them. Observing. Sensing. Letting go. Cleansing. And then would you start to let go of everything that you've collected since the previous full moon that no longer serves you? Let it go. As you continue to release, would you please become aware that Archangel Michael has now entered your sacred space safely. He who is like God, Goddess, Sophia, Divine Source, whatever you believe in as the highest source of energy. Michael is the leader of the Archangels. Michael is the one to turn to if you need guidance in the areas of your career, your purpose, your life aspirations. You could call on him for protection of your home, property, family, your loved ones. He will help you to grow spiritually and emotionally and give you the courage to make the changes that are necessary to accomplish it. He's here to listen to you, to support you, protect you, and to help you nurture and water your garden, your seeds that you're sowing. Becoming aware that in Archangel Michael's hands, He is now showing you the seeds that you're sowing. Would you please take a moment and start to converse with Archangel Michael and just open all of your extrasensory perception as he shows you 
what your soul is planting. Becoming aware that Archangel Michael is now taking your creation seeds and handing them over to Divine Source Energy for a blessing. The highest blessing anything can receive. And notice how this divine blessing shifts your seedlings vibration. After your creation has been blessed, become aware that Archangel Michael is now planting your seeds and he's going to be tending to your garden with you until these creations have manifested here on earth. You can connect with Archangel Michael whenever you like and check in with your garden. But for now, with your eyes closed and from the center of your head, the master control position, would you please look up and notice he is now holding a beautiful February full moon over your entire body. And it shines so bright and so full. And he's healing you with lady light and all of her energy. And this February full moon is here to heal you, to act as a vessel to replenish you after you've released through your rowan tree roots. And just allow Archangel Michael and Lady Light's full moon to act as a receptacle to call back energies of your soul that you have left behind in this lifetime, in other lifetimes, feeling more you. Allowing these beautiful beings of light to start to call in energies that assist your new creations that nurture your soul's purpose, that support you on your soul's path. And allowing the energies of harmony and peace into your moon. So every time you sit this meditation, and you can do it over and over and over, you feel so incredibly peaceful balanced, completely aligned with your soul's path and very clear on the path of your heart. Calling into your moon, lifetimes and lifetimes of when you had a beautiful relationship with your gardener, the part of you that plants seeds, nurtures, and grows your creations to manifest very rapidly and very easy. Lastly, with the assistance of Archangel Michael and beautiful Lady Light, would you allow your full moon to be filled with the highest vibration you think 
you're willing to receive. And then ask to have it raised even higher. Allowing you to receive more than you ever thought you deserved. How did that feel? Surrendering to this healing. Replenishing your soul. Nurturing your creations. And when you're ready to receive more than you ever thought you deserved, would you please reach up for this beautiful February full moon? Tilt it over. Pour it over you like a tea kettle. And start to receive this nurturing, divine, high-frequency energy falling throughout your aura, filling your aura in, your body, allowing your chakra system to integrate this, filling in your legs, arms, fingers, toes. And once you feel so high vibrating, replenished, renewed, cleansed, full of creation, then you can slowly start to bring your awareness back to your physical body. Slowly start to wiggle, wiggle those toes, fingers, maybe stretch, and then open your eyes, and when you're ready, come on back. And for now, you are the highest vibrating being. Happy February full moon. I'm Crystal Heinemann of The Psychic Soul. Please subscribe, please like, and please comment. I answer every single comment. And also please join me and other high frequency beings at thepsychicsoul.com and the link is in the description. I'm available for private psychic sessions and for psychic development virtually as well as online courses. And I also am a podcast and masterclass series host. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude.